Hi, I'm Joey Curlick, drummer for the Mixed Emotions. I met Ben back in the late 1960s when Ben joined the Mixed Emotions. He way more than my 15 minutes of fame throughout my lifetime, which somehow keeps on going. I was asked to put together a video for the uh, 20th anniversary of Ben's passing, which I'm proud to do. Uh, I'd like to share some of the wonderful times Ben and I had along with some other items that all relate to Ben and his way too short life. All of the images are from my personal collection uh, of Ben and me. I hope you enjoy some of these memories and a small amount of rock history. Don't forget, rock and roll never forgets. I'd like to read uh, the speech I gave at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame on Friday, November 11th, 2000, at Ben's Memorial. Thank you, Ben. During my uh, speech at the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, there will be some images uh, such as the wristband and badge IDs and programs and uh, a special DVD we're given and the final clip from Ben's uh, memorial in People Magazine. It was 34 years ago today Sergeant Benjamin taught the band to play. Man, I sound like William Shatner doing a Priceline.com commercial. Humor was one of Ben's finest qualities. Always quick with one-liners, always happy. Hi, I'm Joey Curlick. I had the pleasure of Ben's friendship when we lived together and played in the mixed emotions in the 1960s. My parents always helped me pursue a dream. For a period of time, Ben lived with us and we became very close. Ben was always trustworthy and a very dedicated musician as rock history has seen. My mom tells me Ben was a good cook, always starting dinner before they got home from work. I heard about Benny Eleven Letters and remember one of the first times I saw him perform with the Grasshoppers near Warren, Ohio. At that time, groups and artists did promo spots at teen dances and clubs. I think Mod Socks or Pink Champagne and Red Roses were being showcased. During their set, Ben did a version of the Beatles' Mr. Moonlight. His vocal range was just great along with his raw stage presence. With Ben and our manager, Joe Mayer, a Cleveland radio icon, we went places we could have never imagined. Having Ben as a bandmate put us in clubs and concert halls all over northeastern Ohio, from Otto's Grotto to Public Auditorium. Ben was an amazing innovator and creator. During a recording session, we needed a fuzz tone effect. Keep in mind, this is before Max, MIDI, and digital effects. Ben saw an old silver tone amp in the corner. He turned the volume to the uh, proverbial 10 and bam, instant fuzz tone. Whenever Ben and I went visiting friends or later after the mixed emotions went separate ways, Ben would always have a guitar with him. His visits would include singing Beatle tunes or even better, new songs that he was in the process of writing. Ben had a special talent for singing and writing balance. He was a very sensitive songwriter. Somewhere in my collection of Cleveland Rock memorabilia are the Benny Basement Tapes. Ben was working on a song called Julianne. The lyrics and feeling of that tune were the epitome of Ben's style. It was always such a rush seeing Ben and the cars in music videos on MTV. Videos like Magic, Stay the Night or Drive, one of my favorites, always made me proud that I was associated in Ben's early years leading to his accomplishment. The cars went on to become a cutting edge in rock and roll. We backed up such artists as Bobby Goldsboro, Bobby Sherman, The Vogues, and played alongside of Peter and Gordon, Tommy Rowe, and at the time, our idols, Paul Revere and the Raiders. The places Ben took us were great, no matter how insignificant they were at the time. His talents w was an inspiration to the mixed emotions always trying to do better than best. Ben was always positive in his drive at band rehearsals, leading the way for new, learning new material, working on original tunes, or coordinating moves for upcoming shows. Many Saturdays found the mixed emotions playing up to four shows a day, morning shows at Higby's, now Dillard's in Cleveland, Ohio, an early teen dance or a regular evening gig at the Stable Lounge in Painesville, Ohio, and, when we really got lucky, the Big Five TV show, or as it became known as Upbeat. 
After one Saturday morning taping, I remember an unforgettable breakfast we had. Next to Channel 5, WEWS TV station in Cleveland, was a restaurant. On that day's lineup were Terry Knight and the Pack. Terry went on to become a VP at Capitol Records, and Mel, Don, and Mark went on to become Grand Funk Railroad. Ben's warm smile and sincere personally, personality always added to moments like these. I hope these reflections of Ben and me help you look back at a really special friend and talent that added a tremendous amount of pride and energy to my life. The Grasshoppers, the Baskerville Hounds, the Choir, the Motions, the Mixed Motions. All these great bands of the late 60s somehow lay the groundwork for Ben to take off and reach for the stars, making his mark in the history of rock and roll. I'm glad that I had this opportunity to thank Ben and share memories with you. It seems time slips away from us much too fast. Some of the images that you view during the uh, speech from the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame for Ben's memorial uh, also had uh, original uh, MTV, the first Music Awards t-shirts, front and back. I had the um, Music Awards uh, program. Uh, one of the pages showed the uh, video clip from You Might Think. And then, of course, there was the uh, finals that, uh, uh, from the Music Awards where the cars uh, had a position uh, and hopefully won, which I don't remember. Next, I'd like to share with you uh, Joe Milken's book, uh, Let's Go About Ben Orr. There was the uh, invite to the book signing here in Cleveland, Ohio. The uh, tickets to the event, of course, the uh, book cover, which is a really well-written uh, book, and then uh, Joe signed uh, the inside uh, cover of the book as I was uh, lucky enough to be able to provide some information uh, about Ben and, and his time with the mixed emotions. Uh, there also is an image of the 1967 Union uh, uh, book that uh, uh, we were all members of Local 4 back then. And ironically, the pages from the Union uh, document uh, shows Ben and me uh, on the same pages as uh, percussion drummers. I found that fascinating uh, when I w was getting all this stuff together. Cars. What a great band. Uh, closing out this uh, memorial, I'm going to be showing you a whole bunch of clips from the Mixed Emotions, uh, different jobs we played, gigs. Uh, there's a few images of Bobby Goldsboro who we backed up. There's two images of Peter and Gordon, and then a lot of different images of Ben taken throughout the time we spent together. Some of them are very personal, and some of them are funny. Uh, Closing out this uh, uh, memorial will be uh, ben, one of my favorite Ben songs is Drive. I hope you've enjoyed this.
Can't go 